Hi, I'm Gail and welcome back to Low Carb Recipe Ideas. Today we're going to make a Mediterranean meatball ratatouille. Now a ratatouille is such a strange name. It's some French dish and it's basically made out of a variety of um, uh, vegetables consisting of onions, zucchini, tomatoes, eggplants, that sort of thing. And we're going to add meatballs to it. Well, kind of meatballs. Anyway, let's get started and I'll show you how to make this low-carb Mediterranean meatball ratatouille. Now I said we were going to have meatballs in with this dish, but I'm getting a little lazy and I'm in a hurry. Um, I'm running out the door soon, so I want to put my, my dish together. There's a lot of working people out there that would just love to have this kind of recipe so that when they got home everything was ready to go. So I've taken sausages. I have mild Italian sausage. You can use any kind of sausage you would like. But what I've done is I'm going to, instead of making meatballs, I am just going to cut my... These scissors aren't big enough here. They're not long enough. I'm going to cut them into small sections. And the skin is still on, so they're just going to be almost like a meatball by the time they finish cooking. So just cut them up the size that you would like. And there's six of them here, and this is what we're going to use as our meatballs. And make sure when you are checking the labels that you try and get them with zero carbs. There's so many different kinds of sausages out there that have five carbs per sausage, three, two, one. Um, if you get more organic, you definitely will get zero carbs. But um, um, pay attention to that because that's really, really important because the less carbs, the better it is for us. Okay, I've got my crock pot out. Um, I've got all my ingredients here. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take half of our sausages that are cut into pieces that look like meatballs now you can brown their, your sausage if you would like and um, in, in a frying pan and then put it um, into the crock pot but for the length of time that you're going to be cooking it in the crock pot it really isn't necessary but that's up to you whether or not you want to do that. So the next thing we're going to do is I have 8 ounces of sliced mushrooms and I'm just going to put half in because I'm just going to lay this one layer on top. So we're just going to use half of everything that I, I have right now just to, to um, layer it in the crock pot. Then I have a small um, eggplant that I've cubed and I'm just going to lay that half of it in the layers on top. And then I have a, um, a small zucchini and it's approximately this large as what I used. I've cut it up into little pieces and we're going to put half of that on top. I chop up a small yellow onion so we're going to put half of that we're going to sprinkle that on top again just half and then I've got a clove of garlic that I minced so I'm just going to take half of it everything's going to be half to make our layer and then I've got dried oregano actually I think I'll use my fingers for this one and I'll sprinkle half of it onto the layer and a teaspoon of salt so same thing all the way we're just layering everything and then there's a half a teaspoon of black pepper so that was our first layer so now we're gonna continue and then take the rest of our meatballs and we're going to put it on top again and then the rest of the mushrooms layer the rest of the mushrooms and you to find the recipe if you go to lowcarbrecipeideas.com I have a blog there and I have all my recipes on there now we're going to put the rest of the eggplant in the rest of the zucchini this is an absolutely delicious meal. We need variety in low carb and I just find this works quite well to help me keep on track. So there's my garlic, the rest of my garlic, the rest of my oregano, my salt, and my pepper. 
So now I'm just going to put, turn it on low, my, my crock pot on low for about six hours, six to seven hours. It just depends on your crock pot. And there's a little bit more to add later at the end, but this is how we're going to get started. Now I can run out the door and do what I need to do. And by the time I get back, I will have my dinner almost ready. Now it's been cooking for approximately six hours. So we're just going to take the lid off. Mmm, looks delicious. And see? I didn't make the meatballs, but they look like they're meatballs. This is perfect, absolutely perfect. So the next thing we're going to do is I've got two tomatoes that I've diced, fresh tomatoes. We're going to put that in. And I also have a tablespoon of tomato paste. So we're going to put this in and we're going to stir it around. And I'm going to put the lid back on it and cook it for another 15 minutes and then we'll go from there. Now I've set the timer for 15 minutes to cook up the tomatoes and the tomato paste into the um, crock pot. In the meantime I decided that I'm going to use zucchini as my base for a noodle. So I've taken, this is the size of my zucchini, I've taken and cut it in half and I have this little gadget and it's a joist Gen spiral slicer that um, you can buy online and it's 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 quite awesome so there's little prongs on there just to have it sit there but it's it, it won't hold it so you're gonna have to just kind of do something along this line set it on the base of your of your um, contraption here so we're just going to start turning it and it makes the noodle so when we open it up, you will see here that you have it all in strands and they can't they are quite long. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the scissors and I'm going to cut them a little wee bit shorter. And I'm not going to cook this. I am going to put it in the microwave just to warm it up, not to cook because I don't want it to go soggy. It's almost like angel hair is so tiny, but it's awesome to to use this machine. Now, um I have it on my site if you go to lowcarbrecipeideas.com and go into my pantry you will see that that um, this product is there if you would like to purchase it. It, um, it really is a, is a neat little contraption that you can you can actually you know shave with it so you can have really cute curly shaved radishes or different things that you could do. So if you want to take a look at that, that's pretty awesome. Or you can take your zucchini and you can cut into, into small strips and just warm them up in the microwave and then you can put your, your, um, your meatballs and stuff on top of it. Now this is the last step to our recipe. So we're going to take a teaspoon of fresh lemon. and two tablespoons of fresh basil. Stir that up. And it smells absolutely delicious. So we're going to put our meal together. You get quite a bit of zucchini out of this when you shred it. So here is my Mediterranean Meatball Ratatouille. It's a strange name, but it's just a combination of, of um, mixing the, the um, ingredients all together with the onions, zucchini, and tomatoes and stuff. And then I just put the base of the zucchini, which is really good. What a nice change. Very delicious. And the, and the interesting thing is I cheated with the, um, the meatballs, making sausage meatballs. I just cut up the sausages and it, it'll work perfect. They came out in perfect shape. Anyway, you take care. Go to my lowcarbrecipeideas.com. Check out this recipe and my other recipes. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.